to come down to the beach just now because when we were just having a cup of tea over breakfast I noticed that there was an otter or something an otter or something I think it's an otter playing in the water here it's just there and it's so cute <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing okay. are we going for a walk <laughs> uh -oh. right who's coming for a walk this morning I'm me Esme's coming. Nice. Nice. Isabel's nice. reading nice. her third book of the holiday. She's now reading Esme's. Yep. Isla, are you coming? Now I Good morning, iFam. You're joining us on a little beach walk this morning. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be so, so sad to leave this place. Over the last couple of days we've been packed up in this on this beach and it's been the possibly the best part of my trip. We actually took yesterday off of vlogging. There was no real reason for that. It wasn't that we didn't have Wi-Fi or that anything went wrong during the day or there were any problems or anything at all. We just decided that it was Sunday. We decided if you watched the vlog the day before, we were struggling with whether we were going to wait around in this location for Chris's drone to be delivered it wasn't due to be delivered till Monday which is today and then we decided why are we always rushing we're always like we need to get to the next place we need to get to the next place we need to get to the next place let's just stay here and just enjoy this stay here and enjoy this and enjoy seaweed <laughs> so what did we do yesterday Esme um, yesterday we did nothing, we, did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we had a really 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 nice day doing nothing <laughs> we woke up we had a walk on the beach in fact we had a couple of walks on the beach throughout the day yeah, we did. and it was so so lovely we decided to just put the cameras away and just savor the moment without filming it and it was really nice it was super cute in fact I'll, Chris got some really cute footage of Prinny and him uh, <laughs> Prinny, Jace and Chris um, he got some really cute footage yesterday whilst I was cooking dinner last night of Jace on the beach so I'll insert that footage here. A boy hanging out on the beach, right? While mummy cooks dinner. We're not vlogging today, so I want to take a couple of little memories from here. This is a very special one to me because Jace is in so cute. Just me and daddy. And we're chilling on the beach. We're splish splashing with our boots on. And we're looking at all the things we can find. Prinny is having the best time of her life right now. It's pretty god. I just got pretty dig <laughs> I just got pretty digging something out of the ground and this is running off please just punch. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this so bad when I have to take it back in the RV. <laughs> After a lovely walk, me and Esme found some incredible crab shells. Yeah, that last one looked like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell. <laughs> it was like really cool, like marble green. It was amazing. Anyway, we just got back to the camper van and we've basically been waiting around all morning for a notification to say that Chris's drones arrived. We've been waiting actually for like three days now for this blooming drone. Um, it is on its way, but we did just call the collect, click and collect place that we've ordered it to and it's not there yet so oh my God. i know it's like half past 11 now and so i think we're just going to head into the town anyway maybe there'll be a coffee shop open or something oh. and we'll be able to get a coffee or maybe we'll just have a little wander around the town i'm not too sure the girls have all just strapped in isabel Esme, where's your foot on isabel's head <laughs> i'm getting orange <laughs> you're getting orange uh, jace is just tucking oh. into um <gasps> oh an orange as well. The thing about travelling in cars, does anybody else, this car seat always end up dirty. It doesn't matter oh, literally no. how many times I say I'm not going to have any eating in the car. Obviously we're still in the camper van and Jace doesn't have his high chair so when he's eating meals he like sits in here and it's just, he needs a good wash. Oh it's when like he sat in the car and there's like, there's like a sharp corner or yeah. you, you break or anything. He had a yoghurt in the Apples. car. 
<laughs> all fell down on me on my head and then cheerios all fell down oh no cocoa pops the, the floor was covered in cocoa pops you know? we'd left we'd left some um some vegetables and fruit and things up there and they unfortunately all knocked me out all, well, not actually but you know. not actually yeah but almost bum, bum, bum. <laughs> anyway guys are you all ready to go yeah, yeah. i don't like bruises you don't like what? I don't like bruises on things. You don't like bruises on oranges. But then I think it's just the peel. It's just the skin. <laughs> Chill out, Ez. So we just got into Thurro. Is it Thurro? Thurzo. 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 We were staying in Wick the last couple of nights, about a 20 minute, half an hour drive from Thurro. But luckily on the drive in here, Chris got a message saying your package has arrived. So he just ran down, picked up his drone. We've got a very happy Chris now, right? Boom, yeah, it's on charge, <laughs> ready to go. And I just said, is there anywhere like a cafe shop or a bakery or anything open? And Chris like, actually, I've just passed a really cool bakery just there. So I went down. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Oh my god, they were so excited. I just went down and got... Now, this looks really, really gross, but I can't even tell you how excited excited I am. So this is like a brunchy. I don't know if brunchy is like what the bakery calls it or if it's a Scottish thing, but it's a brunchy. It's got like egg, sausage, bake. I thought we weren't eating meat. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, didn't we? Just remember. Yeah, I'm not eating that. You Sorry. are, you are, because that's mine. Um, and well, we're gonna have half and half. I also got the girls one of these. I don't know if these are a Scottish thing as well, but this That's is so a macaroni pie. When I went and did a shop at Lidl or Aldi, I can't remember which one, we found macaroni pies there and I bought them and I cooked them in the oven a couple of nights ago and oh my gosh, everybody said it was the best dinner they'd ever yeah, had. They were so good. So I thought I'd get us a uh, macaroni pie. So we're gonna have those. And then I also got, oh, oh, oh. Love. They remind me of those cronuts from Bright. They are. They're called summer nuts. I can't remember what she said, but it started with a nut. Nut something. Nut, nut don't. No, not donuts. I can't remember what. But oh my goodness. And oh, guys, geez. also, that was really, really cheap. It cost, let me just sort the brightness out. It cost £13 for five lunches. I think I got six desserts actually because I got Jace a dessert. Didn't get Jace a lunch because he's fast asleep and I can make him um, a snack and a sandwich when he wakes up. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got good. seven desserts. I don't know why I did that. I think it's because I just said just one of them, one of all the donut things, cronut, donut, whatever they're called. Anyway, I'm very happy. We've got a nice little lunch now to have. We're just going to have it on the road because we're now heading towards Wally Go Steps. Wally Go Steps. Um, Sounds really cool. See you guys when we get there. Oh, little man's just discovered <gasps> mum's got cronuts or something in the box. No, I've remembered what they're called. What are they called? Yum nuts. Yum nuts, yum okay, nuts. yum nuts in the box. What? Oh, <gasps> oh that, that joke. Oh my so. gosh, Jace. Oh, and we dip straight in and grab this yellow one. <laughs> you have Maybe the chocolate one. one. <laughs> is this a bow one, that one? That's a millionaire oh. one. Are you want a millionaire is. one? Don't have that one, please. <laughs> please. Which one do you want? The yellow one. Should we let good. Isabel have that one? Yeah. Should we let Isabel? <laughs> you want the yellow one? <laughs> oh my oh. goodness, Jace. It's so big it won't even fit in your mouth, not even in five years. Ooh. <laughs> hey, good, cheeky boy. Can I come over with the one? No, he's trying to close the lid. He's like, she don't, she don't. I don't want to see the others. I don't want to put it back. I'm going to close the lid. <laughs> Come on, little boy. Oh Good my gosh, you watch your hands now. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so we're walking down right over the way Mom, to that cave <laughs> over there. Echoes. Hello! It does echo a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Although a top tip for you guys coming to the Wallygo steps, bring a midgy net to cover your face because there is so many midges. They've kind of gone because the rain's come out, but like yeah. there's so many midges I am definitely gonna be covered in bites again. No, I have for sure. Really careful there. So Isla and Isabel have gone back because it's a bit too slippy down here. Um, I told Esme to go back, but she's having none of it. So <laughs> she's still here with me taking it on. Whoa, there we go. That's the cave. It looks like it's going to be a lot deeper from when you were at the top. Oh, 
cool it's still pretty cool though because you can't see how deep it is from the from the from the top up there. Yeah. Still pretty cool though. Yeah. Oh, Isla's come. Isla, you little nutter. Well done, babe. Right. Well done. If you look up on the, the top of the, the little viewing platform up there, there's Isabel and Sarah and Jace getting some pictures on. The rain still sucks, but this place is stunning, man. The water is so clear. Like, if there's someone shining in this water right now, it would literally be so beautiful turquoise. It's gorgeous. I literally feel like I've just climbed a mountain. Those steps are so You didn't man. tell me. I thought, I literally thought, you know, when you go to a place like the seaside a coast and there's a few steps to get down to the sea obviously i thought it'd be a bit bigger than that i did not think it would be that big Excuse my legs are like jelly so we were just speaking to the local guy can you just grab chase come, on, come here boy <laughs> so we were just speaking to the lovely lovely guy that was letting us park in this space he's lived here all his life and so interesting he's like told this story that he says he says to thousands of people a year He's obviously very proud and so he should be as well. So the steps were built in, what, can you remember the year? But there's 365 steps that was built and they were built on the sole purpose of fishing. And they got the name, I can't, I don't know if it's Walligo, which is how we've been pronouncing it, or Willigo. He pronounced it Willigo, so he's probably right. Um, he said that it was to do with whales being washed up. Yeah. And there was whales washed up. They didn't hunt whales or anything like that, but they were often wa washed up in this area. Um, it was so interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a what else did he say? He was saying that nine, there was 365 steps, one built for every day of the year. There currently is 300 and... Mm. 32 did he say? Something, yeah. 332 left and that's from Vandals. This is probably boring you guys. Yeah, but it's basically it's cool, really yeah. cool. It's really really interesting. The girls loved, was like fascinated with all the pictures and these stories. He told us loads of different stories from his grandparents and things. It was so cool. Um, I really enjoyed that. It, it almost felt like I was going to die walking up them. But that's because Jace, obviously I had to bend over or carry Jace. Made it a lot more difficult. But it was amazing views from down there. Right now we're going to get back on the road and we're heading towards Dunrobin Castle. So the second stop on our whistle stop tour of the east coast today, we're traveling obviously from the top all the way down to Inverness today. Hopefully, hopefully we are traveling to Inverness, most likely anyway. Um, so that we've, we've got some plans later in the week that we want to be in Edinburgh for and places like that. So we're doing a whistle stop tour, a whistle stop tour of the east coast today. So our second proper full like touristy stop today is Dunrobin Castle and that is just Freaking stunning. So, so pretty. One of the oldest and longest inhabited castles in Scotland. I need to find out some more facts about it because I'll, I'll pop them up on the screen for you so that I don't geek you out too much. But this place is stunning and we're going to go for a little explore. Jace is very excited as you can hear right now. Wow, guys, this is stunning. I oh, know, man, it'd be amazing, right? And that view out to sea as well. Yeah. That is incredible. <laughs> Jace, you haven't got no you fear, have you? <laughs> you crazy boy. Let's have a little look on here. Oh, yes. Wow, look at those gardens, man. Oh, what's down there? How much fun can you have? <gasps> Imagine wow. playing hide and seek in that garden, guys. Go That'd be crazy, right? Really cool. I thought you were going to say in the house. Oh, yeah, in the house as well, yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, dear. Let's go oh, down. Oh, no, Jess. Okay. We're going to go down. Come on. Oh, 
Where are you running from? <laughs> I dropped, I dropped scares and I it didn't work. <laughs> Esme, what's behind you? <laughs> Something's looking at you out the window. I don't like them. Dun, dun, dun. I, like well, I do like them, but like... Esme, we've got a surprise for you. You're spending the night all by yourself in this castle and we're picking you up in the morning. Are you excited? Definitely not. Well, yeah, I'm excited because it's not going to happen. I know, I'm a goonie out of Adam. Yeah, you are. You're a proper goonie, isn't it? Proper what? A goonie. Proper goonie. <laughs> Okay, I think we're we're almost here, guys. The beach is looking very nice. Jace, what are you I thinking, man? You liking the beach sand? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I like the sand uh, so much. So I'm gonna go back <laughs> and out of here. I'm not playing. Come on this way. I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, I got mommy's hand. I'll be fine. Another hour and a bit minutes down the road. Very, very beautiful roads, may I add. And the sun is just about setting. It's coming up to eight o'clock and we've just arrived at a place called Channery Point. We got told about this when we were in, where were we? Somewhere a long way away from here, back in the mountains on the, on the west side. Somebody told us we need to come and see the dolphins at Channery Point. And so we did a bit of Googling and apparently it's an amazing place to view dolphins, wild dolphins. So we're here. There's like a, a little car park just at the point. And then we're just walking down the trail which is 250 meters to the dolphin viewing point. So, fingers crossed, oh, we I might see some dolphins. Yay. Yeah, apparently the best time to come and view dolphins is at high tide, and high tide is not until 12 p.m. tomorrow, so who knows? Or midnight tonight, sorry. We're not gonna see them at midnight tonight. I mean, it, don't, it, don't, mind you, it might get dark here now, but now we're a lot further down the country, right? Didn't really get that dark dark up in the highlands. And we're still in the highlands, are we? In Inverness? We're not far from Inverness, I don't know if that's still in the highlands or not, but when we were right north north, it didn't get dark till like really, really late, and then it was only dark for like 40 minutes, and then it was getting light again. So we could have officially seen dolphins here at midnight, if you see what I'm saying. So we've just clocked onto the beach, and we've come around the corner, and we could, that's definitely gonna be the dolphin viewpoint over there, because there's a lot of people. Looks like it's moving as well. Yeah, like. it does. So then, then we might we we might be in luck, Isabel. Oh my God! I cannot believe that we're actually getting this lucky tonight. There is freaking dolphins there. There's a lot of dolphins there as well. This is amazing. You see that is? That is so cool. Whoa! That's sick. Oh yeah, wow. You see that, guys? You see the aisles? It's cloud, Isla. It's magic cloud. Can I see magic cloud? See that? Wow. It's like the unicorn cloud. That's where the unicorn stick. Yeah. Jace, yeah. what are we looking at? We're looking at some dolphins. Oh, is that Adam? Yeah. Are we watching dolphins in the wild? You want to go swim with them? What do you think, Al? It's pretty I think cool, it's right? It's really, really cool because one just jumped and bite out of the water, and like, it was just really, really cool. It's so cool. show you them and now so this is the answers so the answer is footsteps, footsteps. So, if you didn't remember the question this was the question the more you take the more you leave behind so what the more footsteps I? you take the more you leave oh, behind oh can you the more Say. footsteps you take <coughs> 
the more you I'm a leave power. behind. Ah! Oh, then. No, we aren't done for the night. No, we aren't done for the night. But one more to do. What has one eye but cannot see? What Comment your answers in the see. comments. Comment down below. Anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, and we'll see you all tomorrow at tomorrow tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.